Here we are on National Knife Day. So what better thing to do than to do a review of the Gerber Strong Arm Fixed Bladed Partially Serrated Knife. What better way to spend National Knife Day, right? Alright, let's talk a little bit about this knife. Uh, first off, here it is in all its glory. It's sheath, very versatile, I'll get into that in a moment. Um, it has a full tang design meaning the blade goes all the way through. So it's strong in that sense. It's got 420 high carbon stainless steel with a Cerakote finish. Uh, a half a flat grind, meaning the grind is goes up about half of the uh, width of the blade, meaning it, and that also allows it to have uh, a bit more strength, a bit of strength in it. Has a, a rubberized diamond textured grip that's very non-slip. It is very comfortable in the hand. <clears throat> Easy to grip. Hard to slip. Well, that's a pun there, isn't it? Easy to grip, hard to slip. Uh, it's Molly compatible with the with the um, uh, sheath. Um, Multi-modular mount for the sheath. Uh, allows it to um, mount horizontally on your belt with this piece right here, so you can mount it lengthwise on your belt. Um, however, Rather than mounting it on your belt, one of the ideas that I think would be, and what I've seen mentioned before, I think it's a good idea, is to be, all you got to do is pull this little um, retainer pin right here out. Um, this is the horizontal mount. If you mount this on your belt, you can mount it horizontally so the, the everything rests along along your belt. But other than that, what if you were to mount this, say, on the shoulder strap of a carry bag or... Um, of whatever a sling pack something like that and mount this on your on your pack on your sling uh, mount this on your strap and then you can take this on and off as necessary it doesn't have to stay there just leave this where you want it you can mount it on there feed this little bad boy right through those two little holes right there there you go now it's firmly securely stuck in place i think it's a pretty clever design i really like that the versatility of it. Um, well, let me go back to the description of the blade. The blade itself is 4.8 inches long. It does have a partially serrated portion right there. Uh, overall length is 9.8 inches. Uh, weight is a very hefty 7.2 ounces, and I say that very satirically. It's not much at all. 7.2 ounces overall combined. <clears throat> it's an advertised weight of 10.9 <clears throat> 10 ounces. Uh, it does have a um, spike pommel, this little edge right here. Um, I guess you could use it for cracking skulls or breaking glass. Either would work, seem to work. It also has a lanyard hole there, so you can attach a lanyard to it if that's your of your for that opinion. Um, the use for the knife, eh, mainly, let's say it's survival, uh, camping. Maybe military and tactical, though I'm not sure where the tactical part works into that. What makes it tactical? It's not black. It doesn't have any Velcro on it. How could it be tactical? Um, as far as knife goes, it balances very well. Uh, it's very comfortable. It's a little on the small side. I've got fairly large hands, so you can see how that um, it fits well. It does have these flats here on either side that I think are, are actually designed for the sheath to grab hold of, so you can mount it either direct, either, you know, either, either way, it mounts either way. Attaches fairly securely, doesn't want to come out, uh, simple tug pulls it, but that little tab right there um, mates with these two flats. It also allows you to grip it if you want to do a slashing motion. Um, I'm more prone, if I'm cutting something or skinning something, want to do it over the top like that, it works well for me. I do also like to grab top the top of the tang, I'm sorry, the hilt, but it doesn't work for me on this knife. I'm too close to the blade and I'm afraid of cutting myself. And if you know me, that's going to happen sooner or later. It hasn't yet, but it will. Um, like I said, a little on the uh, small side. Uh, I have used it on um, some steaks, some ribs, uh, various fruits, mainly apples, pears, stuff like that. Works great on there. Uh, a little on the thick side when, so when you're hacking into apples. It wants to um, split the apple a little bit. 
So with all that part about me using this to cut food and um, meat and veggies and stuff like that, um, I would kind of appreciate it if that never got back to my wife. I'm not sure how she'd feel about me having one of my um, one of these knives in the kitchen, but that does work. I try I tried it out, cutting up steaks, um, splitting the ribs because I love ribs. Um, works very well, um, very efficient. Uh, I do know that some people have been skeptic of <clears throat> Gerber's quality uh, quality control over time. Um, it's kind of failed, sort of recently, I guess. Uh, this seem this knife seems to have done everything very well. I think it, as far as the quality control on the knife, it's I, I'm really impressed with the knife. I really like this knife. Uh, it's a good value. Um, it's a great knife for the price you pay for it. Uh, I think it's running about. 50 or 60 bucks on Amazon. Um, black generally tends to be a little bit cheaper, but 50 or 60 bucks for a knife of this quality, I think is well worth it. Um, I would like to comp uh, compare it to Gerber's LMF2 survival knife. I think that'd be an entertaining um, job, see how they compare against each other. They're similar in, in size and design. I think that'd be nice. So if anybody from Gerber or anybody who has access to those knives who wants to submit one for testing, I'd love to be able to do that. Um, now a little bit about the sheath. Some of the stuff I like about this sheath. Like I said, I really love the modularity of it. I generally, I don't think I will ever mount this on a shoulder strap. So this piece, yeah, it's there if I ever decide I want to. Um, what I have done on this though, which works very well, again, okay, so with this, I can mount it, I can break it off. I can mount this on a, a good sized belt, military style belt, duty belt, what, I don't know why you put this on a duty belt, but I mean, that's a lot of room in there. I measured it, a lot of room. Uh, it can also be adjusted down like this, separate these little bad boys. Now I can make it so that it fits a one and a half, one and three quarter inch belt, no problem. Uh, the other thing that this can do does very well fits on um, molly webbing like I said earlier this piece slides through um, latches back on itself and then these pieces will fit over the the webbing with this cut piece coming up the back locks it in place works very well had it on one of my packs for a while <clears throat> works very well like that um, you can even get rid of this all together if you're not the whole you know want to be slick about it and just have it just that part mounted on something, that works. Um, however, having said that, there's only a slight retention there. I'm not overly comfortable with that. That's why I like having at least this piece on it. Um, this strap, so that it at least has a um, something going around the body of the, the, blade, uh, the grip. So this piece locks on. At least, you've, and then it's in there very securely. It's not coming out. I don't think I could force out if I wanted to. So, yeah, that's it. I really am impressed with the sheath. As much as I am with the knife, the sheath, I think, is actually very, very well made, very well done um, for all sorts of different, what, pretty much however you want to carry this. It's, it's going to fit. You can either, even put um, straps through the holes, through the webbing, strap it on. I mean, you can carry this on your ankle if you wanted to. Not sure why you'd want to, but you could. So there you have it. The, the Gerber strong arm fixed bladed knife with obviously on this one a partially serrated blade. And that's it. Overall I'd give this I think this is a very good knife. I'm really happy with it. I think it's a great um, utility knife, camping knife. Use it for the zombie apocalypse. Survival, uh, societal collapse, SHTF, WROL, whatever else you want to call it, the end of the world as we know it. I think they're all likely, equally likely scenarios, and I just like the zombie apocalypse because it sounds funny, and that's what I'll use, but it kind of encompasses all of them. So there you have it. Enough blabbering. There it is. In honor of National Knife Day, my Gerber strong arm fixed bladed knife.